right, hi guys. So today we are going to continue working on our introductions. Um, yesterday we wrote hook questions, which are going to be the very first sentence of our introductions. Um, and those are going to hook our reader. We want to grab their attention by asking them an interesting question that we don't think they'll know the answer to. So if you have not done the Monday's writing yet, yesterday's, you need to go back and do that first because you won't be able to do today's because today we're answering those hook questions. If you have done Monday's already, then you're all set. Make sure you check if there's any comments on there that I wrote that maybe you need to change something about your hook question or something. But you're all set to go on to today's and we can answer those hook questions. So if you have not done yesterday's, stop watching this video and go back and do that. And if you have watched, if you did do yesterday's, you're all set. Keep watching. So um, when we're answering a hook question, well, we're thinking about our introduction and what it's going to do. And we're kind of talking about it in three steps. There's like three things that our um, introduction is going to do. And we're on the very first thing. So the introduction is the first paragraph of our writing. And the introduction will, and that very first thing is, hook your reader with a strong lead question or sentence. And we did that yesterday. And today we're going to now answer the question for the reader. Ooh, I didn't want to highlight that. So we're going to hook them with that question, ask them that question we don't think they know the answer to, and then we're going to answer it for them. And this is very, it sounds a little tricky, a little weird, but it's its pretty simple. And let me show you what I mean. Um, so in my example, my uh, strong hook question that I wrote was, have you heard of an adorable animal that can roll itself up, up into a razor sharp ball? And um, so that's my question. And how am I going to answer that question for the reader? So it's like this hook part, that's the first sentence and then of the introduction. And then that, the answer is the second sentence of the introduction. And right there, you already have two sentences. So have you heard of an adorable animal that can roll itself up into a razor sharp ball? How could we answer that question for our reader? I'm definitely not going to just do this. The pangolin. <laughs> See how that doesn't really make sense? Have you heard of an adorable animal that can roll itself up into a razor sharp ball? The pangolin. <laughs> kind of doesn't make sense. We could need to do a little more, more than that, but not that much more. Because I could just do, a, I could say, well, here, I'll keep that and I can just add to it. Well, that animal is the pangolin. See how I just answered that? Easy, simple. Well, that animal is the pangolin. It's like, it's like now I'm telling the reader what the main topic is about. It's like I ask them the question that I don't think they'll know the answer to, that'll be interesting and hook their attention, and then we answer the question for them, and that's going to tell them what the main topic is. And it doesn't just have to be, well, that animal is the pangolin. There's lots of other stuff we could do. Let's try, do two more. How about that animal is the pangolin. Simple, right? So easy. What's another way I could do this? Um, I could build off of this one and make this a little more interesting because this is this is perfectly fine and it definitely works. But I can make it a little more interesting. I could say that cute, adorable. I said that cute, sharp All right, ball. That cute, sharp ball is the pangolin. So see how you can, you, there's lots of ways you can answer those hook questions. And uh, so just think of some, get uh, get creative, try, try a couple of different ones, see if you can write one and then build off of it like I just did. But we could do another example. Have you heard of an adorable animal that can roll itself off into a razor sharp ball? I could say, well, that ball unrolled itself. You'll see that it's a pangolin. Yeah. 
that well. I already wrote one of those kind of. If that ball unrolls itself, you'll see that it's a pangolin. There's lots of different ways you can answer those hook questions. So, um, although I think I like my other one better. I think I'm going to keep this one. That cute sharp ball is actually it's a penguin. Add an exclamation to make it a little more exciting. That cute sharp ball is a penguin. So now what you're going to do, once you have the answer to your question, I'm going to take that and I'm going to add it to the end of my hook. It is still part of the hook. That cute sharp ball is, is a penguin. But very simple. You just got to give an answer to, your, to that uh, hook question that you asked your reader. And that answer is going to tell them what the main topic is all about. So get, have fun with it. Get a little creative. Try, try a little bit more. Write a simple one, and then try to see if you can maybe add on to it just a little bit more. Um, so just to go over what you're going to be doing today, we'll go back to the directions at the top. So you're going to go back to your work from yesterday and copy and paste your hook questions so that you can use them for today. So you might have to open up your old one, or if you can just remember them, retype them. But uh, get those old the hook questions you wrote yesterday, put them back in here, and then after you after you bring both of them back, write an answer to both of them. And then again, see which one, if you liked one or two better, bring one of those down into your hook. And then now you'll have the hook question, and you'll also have the answer to that question. So very simple. Um, and again, if you need any more information about penguins, if you need a refresher, there's the, the YouTube video, and then there's the article you could read about them. And then there's all the research we all did together uh, in the uh, actual outline. So um, yeah, it's simple. So just what you're going to do is you need to two, two answers to the hook questions you wrote yesterday. And um, make sure you bring your favorite question and answer down into the hook. And then already, look at that. If we were to turn this into a paragraph, we already got two sentences, and it's a very strong start. Have you heard of an adorable animal that can roll itself up into a razor-sharp ball? That cute sharp ball is a pangolin. So good luck with that. I'm looking forward to see what you guys come up with. If you have any questions, I'm on the Google Hangout, so you can ask, you can ask then or ask me during our meeting at 1130. All right, bye, guys. Have fun with that. I'll talk to you soon.